So yeah, I just got out of the theater. I did go and see it in IMAX this time around. This is my second watch. First time I went, um, I seen it in like, I keep forgetting what it's called. It's like XD or X something, but it's not as big as the IMAX big screen. This time around, I went by myself. I was locked and loaded. I had me some snacks and I was excited. And this time around, the movie went by so fucking quickly. Um, but I did actually hear and catch a lot more of the dialogue than I did the first time because watching it the second time this time around, I was like, damn, I missed a whole lot of shit simply because I didn't hear it. I didn't hear what they were saying. So certain parts I didn't get. Um, the thing, the stuff about the acid being blood and this, that, and the third, I understand. I'm like, oh, that's why they're doing the turning off the gravity because they don't want the aliens to drip all over the goddamn floor and suck them all up because they're on the bottom floor it was a lot of things that i noticed um everything was just as beautiful just as crisp i think i got a little more emotional with the the Andy and Rain characteristics, like their whole, their bonding shit. I got a lot more emotional than I did the first time I see it. The first time I was just like, oh, second time around, it kind of hit home and it, and it got me teary eyed. I'm like, they did a good ass job with emoting, with them showing us their characteristics of, look, this is a real ride or die, not boyfriend girlfriend relationship but family brother sister relationship because they actually care for each other um i hope andy learned his lesson to not be such a fucking pushover but honestly i don't necessarily think it's andy's fault that he is that way he is a synthetic and he's programmed with certain things and the dad was the one that programmed him this way so we can assume that the dad made andy a little too soft um, but I still loved Andy's character. Every time he got on the scene, I low-key got, like, hard eyes. Because I'm like, his aura, and I mean, honestly, it's, it's, the, it's not necessarily the character itself, but it's also the actor. Um, I think his name is something Johnson. I can't catch it, but trust me, it'll be there somewhere. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That actor has some type of aura to him that it literally is like radiating off that screen, radiating from him with this some type of emotional pull. I know that sounds like, what the fuck is she talking about? Oh, I, that scene, those scenes with Andy just in general, like you not only heard what he was saying and you heard it and then you seen it through his actions, but you actually felt that shit. I felt that shit. Like, damn. <sighs> so I don't want to make this too super quick because I do have my first instant, instant first review and reaction to when I seen this movie on a Tuesday evening. Um, and that's about 40 so minutes long. I did have to take the clips out of that one because YouTube kept copywriting me because I was putting a little bits and pieces of what I was watching of the actual movie into me reacting to it. So I took all of that out. So it was just an audio of me doing a full blown random reaction all over the place, excited as review, reaction, everything I thought as soon as I got up out of there. Um, that's on here check that out that's part one this is obviously part two because it's my second time watching it so again i don't want to make it super long i fucking love that movie um usually i don't go back to back to see movies um i think the only time that i really did the movie had to be really bomb and it had to blow me away 
I went to go see Men when it first came out. And then I think maybe a couple days later, I went to the theaters, seen it a second time. And then a couple days later, I went to the theaters before it left and seen it a third time. That was Alex Garland's Men. And y'all know if y'all seen that, that one was um, one hell of a what the fuck ride. And that's the type of movies I like. And it gave me something that I could like sit and anticipate and be ready to see. This did the same thing for me. Now, I may not go back to the theater and go a, th a third time. But I will say I will be watching this again at home. It'll probably be on Hulu or something like that sometime soon. This was a bomb ass movie. I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five still. So I am staying with that. And I did say uh, before, I didn't know if this was a four or a four out of, out of, um, fuck, excuse me, y'all. I didn't know if this was a four out of five or a four and a half out of five so again i'm stamping it a four and a half out of five this movie is fucking badass if you are not into sci-fi um this may be the one to pull you into it i don't know i like sci-fi especially when i was a kid i like i fucking love sci-fi channel and all that that went with it um especially the throwback movies where they had these large ass um cgi spiders on the boat and they're in the middle of nowhere and these spiders are going ham i'm from that version of sci-fi movies so this gave me nostalgia for that old school sci-fi channel this also gave me nostalgia for tsunami on adult swim throwback when we was growing up this movie did it for me um the second time around like i said the movie went by super quick for some reason um but i was able to catch on to a lot of the easter eggs that the people were talking about the shoes the telephones and then when you see the telephones you know shit about to get real um the cgi from the deceased actor um the first time i seen that i didn't necessarily understand why people were were kind of like well what the fuck the cgi did look creepy all i could do was stare at the teeth of the cgi uh synthetic but i'm like if his family said it was okay for him to be used in this way then shit have at it because honestly if i was an actor or actress when i pass over and y'all want to put me in some type of movie that I sign, that my family signs off on, or that I make a some type of um, arrangement to where these are the type of films and things y'all can use my likeness for for when I pass away. I would be all in. I didn't, and again, from the Alien one, I don't remember who he is. I am going to watch that. I started watching it last night, did fall asleep, so I will be watching that sometime over the weekend. Um, but yeah, the CGI, it looked fucked up. It looked a little weird. It looked a little wonky, but I'm like, eh, it, it looks wonky, but when we went to go see Men, and how the the little boy was really de-aged or whatever the fuck that was with the actor who was playing all of the male characters that looked a little wonky i'm like i'm still here for it. this is a sci-fi movie i expect some shit to look wonky besides the fact that all of the aliens um when they're being birthed we are literally seeing full out vaginas on the screen when bajorn got his and we seen that alien spitting stuff out of that. That was looking like a whole vagina. And I was like, oh my gosh. When we seen Tyler trying not to let the alien do its thing in his mouth. And he turned to the side. And we seen the alien thing. I'm like, that looks like a penis. When Navarro, which should have stayed her ass on that ground. Because why the fuck are we taking her back to the ship? Because she is clearly going to be infected when they pulled that face hugger off of her and there was oh my gosh inches upon inches of of alien penis that was down her throat i'm like oh mg that is fucking sick wow 
it was plenty of times where I'm like, why are they bringing these people along knowing that they're dead? If I see that thing go on somebody and they and they breathing for them and doing all, uh, I don't think she should go back on there because there it might be a reason why that's going on. I'm I'm agreeing with Rook. I'm I'm agreeing with Andy. She's gonna have to stay here. And Bjorn, since you want to be a dickhead, you are gonna stay here with her. Matter of fact, we are gonna let the, the 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 coochie spit acid on you, and then. It was a lot going on, but I loved it. And I typically do not like action movies, especially when it's like guns and explosions and shit like that. That is not me. I am a psychological weird shit going on, creepy shit going on, ooga booga, crazy shit going on type of movie horror girl. The action in this was perfect. It kept you on your feet. It, it got to the point um the scenes of the ship the scenes of the crashes the scenes of the people the scenes of the miners going into work carrying their birds and things i felt every bit of that because it all was saying something to the world that we live in today understand that shit these movies be giving us something to feed on while entertaining it's not some movies you know um this movie got me i love it i recommend it um this movie made me want to go and watch every last alien there is to watch which all of the whole series the whole collection of alien is on hulu as of now august what the fuck is today i think today is the the 23rd august 23rd 2024 check it out on hulu hulu is all there watch that shit come watch alien romulus get into it because i'm excited for what i feel like is gonna happen as far as sci-fi goes it was a couple good movies that i've seen excuse me our trailer wise it's gonna be a couple good thrillers and dramas and horrors that'll be coming out and i'm looking forward to every bit of it this is China Wangs. I'm in this thing. I hope y'all enjoyed this second review reaction instant type shit because I'll be all over the place, but I got to get it out. And I said I was going to get it out and it's out to you today. Bye, y'all.